Are you using a fluid pool yet? Because if you're not, you should. It'll be your dog's favorite new activity. So make sure to keep watching to hear about all the awesome benefits of the fluid pool. And in the meantime, make sure to hit like, subscribe or leave a comment. It's fabulous for dogs that love to chase and play tug, such as herding breeds or bully breed type of dogs. But I really have played it with any type of dog breed before. Um, so the flirt ball okay. is a fantastic energy burner, but on top of that, and more importantly, it gives your dog an outlet to chase something appropriate or with permission, instead of bikes, cars or birds. You can practice impulse control and obedience with it as well. As you can see in this video, I'm practicing with Roxy to stop her mid-chase and refocus on me by asking sits and eye contact. I'm trying to recreate a situation where she may be chasing something, like a dog or a car, and teaching her, remember when we played this game? You were able to call off it, so you can do that again. It's teaching her to toggle from high drive back to pack drive, where she has to take directions from me. I'm also trying to stop her impulse to want to chase everything inside and to be able to hold a sit even though things are wriggling right in front of her. And I'm trying to teach her a leave it or drop it command. So there's so many uses for this one single game. A 5 to 10 minute session like this is sure to entertain your dog physically but also challenge them mentally, making them fulfill their purpose and feel satisfied. You don't need a ton of space yeah. either, so if you don't have a big backyard, no worries, it's not a problem at all. Okay, go. I have done this in my garage before, for especially if it's rainy or cold outside. Uh, or you can use a small field in front of the house, as long as no one else is around. If you have two dogs, I recommend just playing with one dog at a time, until both dogs are listening well and you're sure you won't have any resource guarding issues. If you have any resource guarding issues around toys, do not play this game with two dogs at the same time. If your dog isn't keen on letting the tug go after they caught it, I usually always have treats in my pocket to trade them for a treat whilst I'm teaching a drop it at the same time. Yeah, so I'll go and offer the treat whilst they have it in their mouth. I put it right on their nose, they open their mouth to grab the treat or in this case I tried to toss it but she didn't go for it and then we'll swap. Make sure though that when they catch it they get to play for a bit with the toy. They worked hard to manage to catch it, they won the game so they deserve to play with it and celebrate the win. You can super easily make a flirt pole yourself by simply buying a PVC tube, a long piece of rope and a tuck toy. All you do is thread the rope through the PVC tube and tie the tug to the end of the rope and you have a super cheap toy that lasts forever for like under $20 or $15. If you don't want to make it yourself, that's all good. You can buy one online, of course. So what do you think? Are you going to give the flirt pole a go? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Hit like and subscribe. Thank you. But if you wriggle it, uh, yeah, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Get it. Good. Could even do a down if she can do a good down, but it might be something we'll introduce later on. Leave it. But if you do like a fast wriggle on the ground, that's it. Nice. Good. <laughs> and now on the next one, let her catch it. Good dog. <laughs> 